whoop loud you. You gotta focus on what's real, man. <laughs> Brother Bell here. Today we're going to talk about three impactful things you can do to make it to Division I athletics. Now today I'm going to be talking about Division I athletes, but in particular basketball. So if you're not playing basketball and you're viewing this video, just plug it in. Just plug and chug, whatever you need. Okay? But the same rules apply. All right, let's get into it. Three impactful ways you can increase your odds of getting a Division I athletic scholarship. Number one is you have to be honest with yourself. What do I mean by that? Ladies, if you're five foot five to five foot nine and you want to play center position in Division One school because you played that in high school, you gotta be honest with yourself and know that that's not gonna be possible, okay? We have five foot five, five foot nine point guards, okay? And you being able to play that at the center position at Division One school won't be able to translate over. So you gotta understand that. For the same token, guys, you're six foot one to six foot four, six foot five, and you've been playing the forward slash center position in high school and you've been really well at it you've been doing really good at it you will not be able to do that same thing at a division one major school okay at a major division one school that won't be able to translate over okay <laughs> Number two of the three impactful ways you can increase your odds of getting a Division I scholarship is you have to play against Division I caliber players. Now, I know this may sound simple, and sometimes it may seem like it's easier said than done, but the individuals that you're measuring yourself up to, are they Division I type players? It's okay that you're going to high school and you may be killing at your high school, but maybe your high school doesn't offer the competition you need to really get an assessment if you're going to be a Division One athlete, okay? And if that's the case, guess what? You can sign up for AAU, you can go to some sports camps. There's different things that you can do to, to supplement the competition that you're lacking at your high school, okay? Now, once you play against Division One caliber players, are you doing well? Are you getting triple doubles? Are you getting double doubles? Plan time. These are things you need to be asking yourself when you're thinking about going major division one. Are you doing well against individuals that are going division one? Now, how do you know if they're going division one? Signees, people that are getting letters from these major division one colleges and universities and saying, listen, we would like you to come to our school. Once you see letters, that's how you know. Don't take anyone's word for it because everyone feels like they're going to Division One. Everyone feels that they're going to play for the Lakers. Everyone feels that they're going to play for the Lakers. Everybody feels that, okay? But not very many people have the opportunity to do so. So I want you to make sure that you see those those Division One signee letters and, and you know that those individuals are being recruited by these big Division One schools. Now, the Today, we honor a man who has been an inspiration to our citizens. Last thing, impactful ways that you can increase your odds of getting a Division I athletic scholarship is you have got to. And again, I say got to take your grade seriously, okay? Now, the athletic side of things are just one side of the coin, all right? The academic portion is the other side of the coin, and it needs to be taken care of more than the athletic side of things, okay? Now, why do I say that? Now, you've heard this a lot. Sports in college is a business. It couldn't have been a more true statement than that. It is a business in all shapes and fashions, okay? Well, one reason that it's a business is this. Listen, if LeBron James went to college and the coach wanted to give him a full-ride scholarship, but he sees LeBron James has a 3.8 GPA, a 3.8 GPA. Typically, the university will be able to tap into some academic funds as far as the scholarship is concerned and pay for, pay for his schooling as well. So from a coaching standpoint, many coaches will see if they can supplement and use their academic scholarship and save some of the athletic scholarship they would be offering them. Now, why would he do that? He's going to do that because typically coaches don't get but a certain amount of money to recruit to scholarship athletes, okay? 
They don't have an infinite amount of money they can just throw throw to the ceiling. They need they, they only have a certain amount. So if they only have seven scholarship athletes that they can actually give scholarships to off a 15 man or woman roster, then of course I'm gonna supplement money here and, and see if we can use some other other funds to get it taken care of instead of using all my money because if i can use some more of my money on a different player then i can stretch that seven scholarship athletes to seven and a half to eight and a half to nine and a half and just give some of those other individuals partial right and that's better than nothing so be mindful of that understand that grades are very 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 important okay from a business standpoint it's very very important <laughs> video thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions about being a student athlete whether it's high school or college please leave them down in the comment section below and we'll get to it i'm very excited about this channel and you should be too but i can show you better than i can tell you so make sure you come back every week and we're gonna be out here dropping them heat rocks to make you most impactful make you most efficient with your time make you the best player on the court and the best student in the classroom so remember whether it's on the court or off, in the classroom or out, graduate at the top of your class. Who blotty?